वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ पे रोल इन टैली नाउ सरप्राइजिंगली इन टैली अपार्ट फ्रॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड इन्वेंट्री पे रोल कैन बी मैनेज ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट द इनिशियल फीचर वैन इट हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बट लेटर ऑन पे रोल हैज बीन एडेड नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू यूज द पे रोल इन टैली वी विल हैव टू एक्टिवेट द फीचर so in order to activate the feature you will have to press f11 now here you may see show more feature is coming as no so i am converting this into yes show all feature also need to be yes remember this now here you will see maintain payroll option is coming as no so you will have to convert this into yes enable payroll statutory also convert this into yes now here you will have to mention the payroll statutory details like the company code company account group security code esi branch office uh when you are doing it in the real time it is very much necessary to do however i am skipping that part okay now the next thing is to go to the create under master now once we are in the create of masters you may see payroll masters and uh, the under payroll master you will be able to see all these details which is employee group employee units attendance production type pay hats and payroll voucher types so these are the things which was not visible previously but right now because we have activated the feature so it is now visible now the first thing that we will have to create is the attendance and production type now here you will have to create like absent now if the employee is absent it will be under primary and it's going to be leave without pay now what is the meaning of absent the meaning of absent is uh, that you are not there for the work without informing so that is what absent is so it's going to be always leave without pay go ahead and save it now the next thing that i am going to create is let's say overtime so i am typing overtime now overtime is going to be under primary only attendance type is going to be production under production we will have to create unit now for in order to create unit we will press alt c and here let's say overtime is being measured in hours so here i am typing h r s and formal name is of course hours go ahead and save it okay so under attendance we have created absent and overtime now the next thing that we will have to create okay in the meantime we have created the units also and the unit was hours now the next thing that we will have to create is pay hats pay hats are the component of salary so the very basic component is the basic salary so here i am typing basic salary now basic salary is earning for employees it's a fixed component from the company's point of view it's an indirect expense uh effects net salary yes basic salary use of calculation in gratuity no okay so in the calculation type we are going to select on attendance because basic salary is based on attendance now here attendance live with pay attendance live with pay is going to be not applicable live without pay is going to be absent now calculation period it's going to be on monthly basis and basic of calculation is going to be as per calendar period that's fine here it's going to be not applicable go ahead and save this pay hat now we have created the first pay hat which is basic salary the next component i am creating let's say as travel expense now travel expense is going to be earning for employees again it's going to be under fixed uh from company's point of view again it's an indirect expense yes travel expense use of calculation no and here it's going to be flat rate now flat rate is going to be travel expense based on months okay again it is not applicable don't give any opening balance go ahead and save it next i am creating let's say overtime 
now overtime is again earning for employees fixed is going to be indirect expense yes uh overtime fine use of calculation no and overtime is going to be whether uh flat rate on attendance or on production so it's going to be on production and it's going to be measured we have created the production type which is on hours so here i have selected this again the rounding method is going to be not applicable next i am creating da da allowance it's again an earning for employees fixed it's an indirect expense now yes da no calculation type it's going to be on computed value because da is based on the basic salary normally the rate may vary here i am considering let's say 8% so here it's coming as not applicable fine on current earning totals fine now effective date is 1st of april now amount up to here you need to create slab normally in da we don't create slabs uh, but let me show you if we need to create how to create uh, how to do that so let's say up till 10000 10000 the percentage is going to be the percentage of what percentage of basic salary so percentage is going to be let's say 8% now from 10000 sorry from 10000 to 20000 the percentage is going to be let's say 9% and from 20000 onwards it's going to be 10% so we have uh, given the calculation go ahead and save it next part i am creating is pf that is provident fund so pf is deduction from employees company also pay the pf so it's going to be under indirect expense yes and it's again going to be on computed value not applicable on current earnings effective from 1st of april amount up to no need to mention because it's going to be fixed that is 12% of the basic salary okay you need to go ahead and save it fine so we have created the pay heads and we have created units as well we have created attendance and production type the next thing that we will have to create is the employee group employee group generally are the departments so let's say here i am taking marketing marketing under primary then i am creating hr primary go ahead and save it so i have created the employee group as well the next thing that we will have to create is the employee details so let me go to employee here you need to create all the employees for the sake of example i am creating three employees here so first employee i am creating let's say shyam now it's going to be under primary date of joining i have mentioned let's say 1st of april define salary detail here it's coming no you will have to convert this into yes now from here you will have to mention the day uh, salary component so for effective from 1st of april pay heads is basic salary now what is the basic salary of shyam let's say it is uh 18000 it's earning for employees next part is the da now da was based on the salary basic salary it was uh, the slab rate i have given so that's the reason it's not asking for the rate okay now i am selecting overtime now overtime for overtime is is calculated based on per hour so per hour how much you are willing to pay so here let's say per hour 400 rupees is the charges now next is pf and next is travel expense travel expense is fixed rate so here let's say he is getting 1500 as a travel expense okay now next thing is the employee number so let's say i am giving it 1001 a designation here shyam so i am let's say here selecting marketing executive or whatever you want to give okay okay under 
here you will have to select the department actually sorry for this so it's going to be under marketing department okay okay function location you may give all the details over here gender mail okay date of birth address and all i'm skipping this part you may give here go ahead and save it the next i am creating let's say kavita and she is going under the department which is hr effective from 1st of april define salary yes here i am selecting the basic salary of 25000 okay next i am selecting da next i am selecting let's say pf next i am selecting overtime and here the overtime rate is per hour so it's 400 and travel expense is fixed so 1500 go ahead and save it so employee code here i am giving 1002 okay designation i am giving hr manager function location same noida gender female rest of the detail i am not giving and save it next uh, party name i am creating let's say varun it's going to be in marketing department effective from 1st of april yes from here i am selecting basic salary basic salary let's say 35000 da and pf i am selecting overtime it's going to be 400 per hour then travel expense is fixed which is 1500 go ahead and save it okay let me give the employee code designation marketing manager okay function location i am giving noida okay rest of the detail i am not giving go ahead and save this as well fine so we have given employee group employee units attendance production type and pay head as well time to do the payment of salary now let me go to the voucher first now from voucher let me go to other vouchers show inactive now here it's not necessary here you may see under payroll voucher two types of voucher is coming first is attendance and second is payroll so first let me go to the attendance now in the attendance you will have to select the employee let's say first i am selecting shyam now in the attendance uh, there are two component first is the absent and overtime so let's say i am selecting absent and uh, in the value i am giving let's say only 2 days okay next i am selecting kavita again i am selecting absent and let's say one day then i am selecting varun selecting absent and selecting zero okay next i need to mention the overtime so first i am selecting again shyam selecting overtime and uh, in hours i need to give here so let's say i am giving four now i am selecting kavita selecting overtime if there is no overtime give zero if there is overtime then you may give let's say 6 if there is no overtime then in fact you, you may skip that part as well so let me go to i have given for shyam kavita varun i am selecting overtime and here let's say i am giving 5 fine go ahead and save it the next thing that we will have to do is to go for the payroll that is shortcut is control f4 so i am going for payroll here now in the account section you will have to mention whether you are making a payment through cash or through bank most of the time it is happening through bank so first of all let me create a ledger for bank so let me go to create ledger here let's say uh, the company bank account is in hdfc here i am mentioning bank account and uh, let me give the opening balance which is let's say 4 lakh 1 2 3 go ahead and save it 
so successfully i have created the bank ledger and i have put the opening balance into it as well now let me go to the voucher now from here you will have to select the ledger for bank or cash through which you are making a payment so here i am selecting the hdfc bank now in the particulars i will have to mention the employee details now for this we will have to go to autofill select go to autofill from here select payroll autofill from here i am selecting salary i am selecting the date that is 1st of april 2022 1st of may because it's an education version so i can't give the last date employee group i am selecting all items sort by employee name that's fine here i am again selecting hdfc bank now here you need to select the mode of payment transaction type no the moment i have done that you can see this all the details are coming overall here you may see that how much salary need to be paid that is 90587 go ahead and save it so this is how the salary need to be paid let me show you few reports so let me go to display more report from here i am going to payroll reports from here i am going to pay slip let's say i am selecting baron and you can see they are its basic salary da has been calculated on that particular amount over time it's coming on the basis of hours that we have set over there travel expense is also coming over here so deduction of pf also it's showing here and you can see everything is being there if you want to print it go to print option go for current option you can see the preview over here and you can print the pay slip as well so this is how payroll need to be maintained in a company or specifically in tally this is it for the video thank you for watching have a nice day